Hello everyone. In the previous video, we saw how to prepare alkyl halides from alcohols using hydrogen halides as the reagents. In this video, we are going to discuss the reaction of alcohols with some other reagents in order to obtain alkyl halides. So the first reason that we are going to discuss here is phosphorus halides. In this reaction as well, when alcohol reacts with phosphorus halides, the OH group in alcohol gets replaced by corresponding halides. As we can see in the reaction, when ROH reacts with PCl5, the products that we get is an alkyl chloride, RCl along with POCl3 and HCl. Similarly, in order to obtain alkyl bromides and alkyl aldehydes, what we do is we react alcohol with phosphorus tribromide and phosphorus triiodide that is PBr3 and Pi3. So these reagents are prepared in situ or during the chemical reaction by reacting bromine with red phosphorus and iodine with red phosphorus. So as you can see in the reactions given here, when ROH reacts with red phosphorus in the presence of bromine, you can get alkyl bromide RBR and similarly reacting red phosphorus with iodine generates Pi3 as a reagent in which case you get alkyl iodide as a final product. As you can again see in this reaction, when we react alcohols with PX3 or phosphorus trihalides, 3 moles of corresponding alkyl halides are obtained along with H3PO3 as the byproduct. The next reagent that we are going to discuss is nothing but thionyl chloride. So, as you can see, when alcohol reacts with thionyl chloride SOCl2, alkyl chloride is obtained and the byproducts obtained are SO2 and HCl. Now, this reaction has a very unique advantage in the sense that the byproducts SO2 and HCl obtained are gaseous in nature such that they escape from the reaction mixture leaving us the pure alkyl halide and hence for the same reason this reaction is highly preferred in to prepare alkyl chlorides from alcohols. Now let's discuss a very simple problem. So the question asked here is that in this particular reaction where alcohol or ethyl uh, ethanol is reacted with Ki, why H2SO4 is not a preferred uh, reagent or preferred acid? So if you look at this reaction closely, we can see that we need, uh, this is an uh, example of nucleophilic substitution reaction where I minus attacks the OH once it is protonated by the acid. So this reaction is not favorable because H2SO4 is essentially a very strong acid. So what it does is that it will actually oxidize Ki that is I minus to I2 or iodine. So in that case we can see that since this is a nucleophilic substitution reaction, we need a nucleophile to attack the protonated alcohol. So in this case since all the I minus gets converted to I2, there won't be any more nucleophile left and then in that case all the I minus gets exhausted. So for the same reason, in order to protonate this particular alcohol, we use weak acids like H3PO4 so that OH now gets converted to OH2 and at the same time, I- can act as a nucleophile and attack this particular alcohol giving us corresponding alkyl halide. I hope you are very clear on why H2SO4 is not a suitable reagent to carry out this particular reaction. Thank you.